Alright, so what's the game plan? Just poop banelings out at them from Fog of War till their buildings die? Seems like a good game plan. I'm down to do that. Do you like New Zagara? I don't mind it, but not really. If I had to pick one side, I would say I don't really like it. I feel like there's very little skill involved, and it's toxic to play against. So, I don't think it's like a healthy thing for stuff like this to be strong. You literally just sit really far away and spam Q. Like, it's like, it's pretty dumb, though. Like, it's, just, it's very little power. Very little counterplay. At the very least, this talent, if they just remove the 50% range for this talent, I swear Zagara would drop win like her win rate would drop at least 5%. Just remove the range. That's it. You remove the range, heroes can actually deal with her again, and then it's, it's fine. It's not that bad anymore. How would you solve it? Exactly like what I just said. Go fight. Do whatever it is you do. Vengeance will be complete. Now you shall pay. Like look at this shit. I'm in fog of war. They can't even see me. You see this? This is they can their vision is up to here and you can just just keep doing this, you know? That's the main problem. Actually, Phoenix is a pretty good Zag counter, but the only problem with it is you need to hit her with your Q. Good luck doing that, because I'm just spamming bangings from three screens away. But if he ever catches me with Q, he'll probably just kill me really fast. Like, this is literally Zag. This is why it's powerful. It's just pretty stupid, I think. <laughs> wow, I can press Q from the screen away. So good. So skillful. Did they buff the Zagara move speed? It was always uh, 20%, right? It's just harder to deal with now because her bangs are more annoying. Well, that and this too. The the wave clear got buffed a little bit, especially after seven when you get more banelings, because the banelings cost less mana now, so you can spam infinite amount of them. You could also just make your banelings cost make more mana, like double the mana cost, because they doubled the baneling amount, but they did not double the mana cost, so they cost like no mana now. If you double the mana cost, then uh, she's gonna go oom a lot more doing this, and that's another way to balance it. At least she'll be oom. Like, I've auto attacked the hero like one time this entire time. <laughs> and we're just winning because <laughs> I'm spamming Q. That's it. Like, that's, that's all I need to do. I, I have his tower and almost his wall. And I've attacked an enemy hero one time. I could have attacked an enemy hero zero times. So I'd still be winning. Summon move speed got increased. Zagara move speed remains the same. Oh, okay. Where ring is this? I think we're plat five or gold one. I forgot which one. I dodged, so it might be gold one. And she still pushes hella fast when no one's here, you know? So like when no one's here, unfortunately they're getting both temples, because we're a three bottom. You still push like infinite fast, so you're like a chromy asthma dan. That's what I keep saying, right? It's literally like a chromy asthma dan now. One person can't really kill you. Unless that was Phoenix. If that was Phoenix, I'd be dead. But it's not Phoenix, so I'm fine. Temple's power 
Is there a big difference between bronze and gold? Not to me, but um, I mean, there must be. But to me, it doesn't matter much. Or I can't really tell much. You know, I'd imagine it's the same thing. And it's like, is there a difference between like a honey bee and a normal bee like to me I don't know he's or a, but but to a bee there might be a big difference I can't tell no more though they all they all just bees to me Because I went, because I'm moving. And I'm kind of pissed that I'm moving. How hard can it be? Exactly. Precisely. <laughs> you know it, Aura. Well, anyways, my job here is about done. The entire floor is purple. Yo. Guardians. I'm zooming, baby. They can't catch me. Spit out some more mailings for good measure. Oh, we'll go do other stuff now. Have fun. What's up, Michael? Thanks for the 19. Welcome back. Appreciate that. That guy is dead AF. I'll throw some banelings your way, but you dead AF. Holy shit, he lived. What the F? He lived and the Phoenix died to my poison. Dude, it's the top khakis. Wait, never mind. He died to Meriden. Good shit, Meriden. I'll show you guys the secret Zagara Nidus spot that no one except stream snipers will ever kill. Stick a bad boy right up here, dude. The second this gets killed, confirm stream sniper, 1000%. No cap. Temple's magic subsides. Uh, thanks, I'll use that, no problem, no problem. This one too, actually, this one too. This is the same thing, same thing here. You literally don't have vision of this. Over here. Unless you're like literally standing like here, right? And most people will not stand like here, because they'll be standing on the upper part of the shrine. Anyways, so the funny thing is, the Stitches doesn't even know where I am right now, right? Because I'm out of vision range. Vision range is only like up to up to like here, so he can't even hook me because you don't know where I am. Uh, from his screen, all he sees is like two banelings rolling in every three, every two seconds. Literally, I don't even have to worry about getting hooked because he don't he can't even see me. <laughs> He's just like, what the fudge? There's just two banelings rolling in every two seconds. Literally, the fool can't even see me. That's why he's not trying to hook, because he dead ass can't even see me. That's why this is stupid. Oh, he saw me. And now he doesn't. Just shall 
go in range for a second, drop a pile of shit on him, and then keep. keep. It's like I'm just playing target practice at this point. He's not even a hot anymore. I'm just making his life a bullet hell. <laughs> this is new Zagara, dude. Look at this shit. <laughs> Hey, there you go. Oh my god. We're dead. Wait a minute. Did they just use both their engages? No, he still has me. In which case, we're gonna have to uh, predict it. Oh, I couldn't predict it. They're so pissed. <laughs> Woo! 20% boost speed on creep AP. Oh. oh, that's just, that's just. It's kind of sad, but it's kind of funny at the same time. Oh, it's people, it's people sprinting out of my mind, baby. They were not ready for the people sprints. They were not ready for the people sprints. Oh man, I would be so pissed. I would actually be so. You know they tilted. You know they Omega tilted. Hello. You want some Bingling? You want some Bingling? You want some Bingling? You want some Hydra? You want some Bingling? Anyone want some Bingling? Anyone want some Bingling from Outer Vision? You cannot see me, but my Bingling can see you. Hop in vision for a second, drop a pile of shit. Uh oh. Oh, this is the kind of trades we lose. Oh, <laughs> they're done with my shit, brothers. They are done with my shit. And that is my other point, right? If you actually have to be on their screen, Sakara's not that strong because you're still squishy as shit and your damage is not that high. Uh, when you're vulnerable to being engaged upon, it's only high because you're not vulnerable. When you you can throw shit the whole game without being vulnerable. Bot one got killed. 100% stream sniper. This shrine was not up, right? If they killed it without the shrine active, 100%. That's fine though, I don't need it anyways. This is Monk Gib. Monk build. Um, I'm okay with W at uh, 716. It gives him more healing. It's not terrible, actually. Basically, you're trading your third dash for more healing. Which is not bad. I mean, if you don't need the third dash, it's pretty good, actually. Was it not you that built it that way? What? It built is fine. What? There's nothing wrong with that build. Yes. Oh, this guy's angry because he's seven sided, probably, because he thinks he wants more healing. But I mean, Monk is meant to be played as aggressive, anyways. Have you B2 Master? Yes. I even B2 Grandmaster. I even B2 Grandmaster, believe it or not. And you woke up? Yes. But even woke, I still B2 Grandmaster. Even woke, I still B2 Grandmaster. Okay. Even the woke me was Grandmaster B2. What can I say? What an odd conversation this is. <laughs> what an odd conversation we have in Plat. See, this is why Plats are all hard stuck. They all think they're God's gift to Hots. And they're just all just kind of like boosty go players. You know? Oh no. By the way, your mom. Goodbye. They're all just kind of boosted gold players, but they all think they're like the best player that's ever made. So what you're saying is we needed more damage.
Yes, damage. Monk is the normal. That that is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing damage monk is normal. That's, that is how you play monk. That is literally the normal. He actually deviated his build to do less damage and more healing. He's actually healing you for more than normal monk would actually. That is what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, this one. This one's so OP. For sure, go this. Did you think you were rid of me? Bro, they killed this one too. Bunch of stream snipers, dude. Whatever, I don't have much use for Nidus at this point, anyways. Don't really need him anymore. I am required elsewhere. Let the banglings begin. You like how I died? Yeah, I died because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I'll be paying a little bit more attention now. Let the banglings begin. Soon they shall bask in my glory. Wait a minute, what are they doing over there? That's a monkey giga. Oh, that's extremely monkey giga. Bingling's coming in from Antarctica though. Heavy artillery from Antarctica rolling in. Is that Arc Moncore? Oh it is. Double heavy artillery rolling in. Rolly police rolling in. Why is everything critting? Oh, it works on core too. Enemies it works on core too. That's pretty sick. You didn't do shit. They all focus me. Yes, you did. No shit. But the Murden is a plat shitter, so he's never gonna like. Uh, uh, the irony is very real here. But the Murden's a plat shitter, so he will never like accept anything, you know. But man, like, how embarrassing is 